We are witnessing very exciting and inspiring times. Delhi University has completed 100 years. India has also completed 75 years of its independence. Many functions are being organized in Delhi and in India to ignite our young minds. Delhi University, as we know, was started in 1922 with three colleges, with the two faculties, but now we have 91 colleges, 86 uh, teaching departments and more than 6.5 lakh students on the campus. So in the last 100 years, Delhi University has done extremely well in all walks of life, produced excellent teachers, outstanding students and our students have done extremely well in, in the field. And it's a matter of pride uh, to all of us. When we talk about the independence of India, 75 years have completed, many good things have done in India and now our Honorable Prime Minister has rightly said that we want India to be a developed nation by 2047. So when India will be completing 100 years, it will be a developed nation. But how? This how is also very important because uh, this is related to Department of Commerce, Delhi School of Economics. Because you, uh, the, the thought should go into the direction of the acceleration of the growth rate. Because uh, if we want to be a developed nation, prosperous nation, powerful nation, it means what? Our growth rate should be 10% for next 25 years. It means every proposal in India, either it is submitted to the government by the society or by a university, should be filtered through this growth rate parameter. If it accelerates growth rate, we should consider. If it doesn't uh, accelerate growth rate, if, if it decelerate growth rate, then we should not consider it for next 25 years. Our total focus should be on acceleration of the growth rate. And here, our Department of Economics, Department of Commerce, Delhi School of Economics should play a very, very significant and important role. We should work hard. We should do research and identify those instruments which can help to accelerate the growth rate of India. And uh, I am very happy to know that our Department of Commerce is doing extremely well in this direction. All groups have been constituted to work, work in the areas and uh, we will be submitting proposal to the government for the same. But you know, these uh, uh, after 25 years, uh, which uh, Prime Minister has rightly said, the Amrit Kal, we really have to work very hard and uh, oh, with one objective only that we want India to be a prosperous, progressive, developed nation. And development for what? Development for development for humanity. Because we want to eradicate poverty from India. And this is only possible with the help of commerce and its instruments. My good wishes to all the researchers, scholars and teachers and the students and the bright minds of India. Please think about in this direction, do research, identify tools for the achievement of such objects. It is amazing experience to be part of this Department of Commerce in the year when we are celebrating centenary year of the University of Delhi, which is 1922 to 2022. And department is celebrating completion of 55 years because the department was born in the year 1967. And the country is celebrating Amrit Kal, which started after the completion of 75 years of India's independence. So this is something special and the Department of Commerce also started in 1995 two professional programs which were named as MHROD and MIB at that time which are now MBHRD and MBIB and the first batch of that passed out in 1997 so which is like celebrating silver jubilee of the first batch of the two professional programs in the Department of Commerce which was uh, like creating a niche in the area of business and later on we made a separate faculty of commerce and business as well. We are implementing this policy which is a blend of our ancient wisdom, ancient knowledge on the one hand and bringing technology uh, for the students on the other hand. So tech savvy uh, manpower or people to be produced welcome each stakeholder actually to give us feedback based on their own experiences, whether they are alumni or they are employers or they are parents, students, teachers, staff members, even government uh, policy makers and all that, that what they expect from us, from the Department of Commerce to be doing in the next 25 years. 
So we are having a conference in uh, January 10-11, 2023. The theme is Bharat at 2047 and the role of commerce and business in that. I just add to that, that or supplement to that, that it should be mindful growth instead of mindless growth. Apartment, uh, which is uh, more than 50 years old, has carved niche in the area of uh, business education and leading uh, not the country but greater part of Asia. The kind of uh, academic processes which uh, this department has created are too robust and I'm sure that uh, with this department in times to come will maintain its vigor and uh, will make its processes further stronger to respond to what the present times challenges are. This department would be able to respond and take up whatever is required to show the direction to society, to politics, to economy, to education, not only commerce, but education in general. Even now, uh, this department has gone for making research as the frontal agenda. Department of Commerce is offering a PhD program in the area pure as well as allied area of commerce ranging from accountancy, finance, marketing, organization behavior, HR, international business and all the area which you can say is an important these days for a business. I am privileged to be the part of this department and happy to carry on the legacy of all our faculty members and I'll wish this department reach a newer height in 2047. Department of College Interface, this is a unique program which has started to bridge the gap between the department and college teachers, which is very, very important because uh, whatever the policy we formulate here, that has been uh, used by the college teachers. So in a way, we have to formulate the guidelines, we have to uh, make the syllabus. So there's a need. Uh, of uh, collaboration with the college teachers. So in the last more than three years, we have organized a lot of uh, programs in the form of seminars, conferences, webinars with the college teachers. And many colleges were actively participated in these programs. Uh, right now, we have organized more than 100 programs uh, in the form of guidelines, meetings, conferences, seminars, and workshops. Uh, in our Department of Commerce, as uh, we are running three uh, PG courses and two research courses like MPhil and PhD. Also, uh, coming up with the new innovative ideas also and which is very, very useful for the department. I hope that uh, the next 20 years, department will touch new heights. In the last five, seven years, I would say that the department's footprint in international publications, especially Scopus listed and ABDC ranked journals, has risen. I hope that in the next 25 years, uh, we, we believe that we will be aspiring more for a higher grade publications, contributing to the, to the research and development from University of Delhi, that when it comes to research contributed by us is discussed or is uh, seen at a platform, uh, it should be a moment of pride for University of Delhi. So I hope that with this and these endeavors of us by expanding our uh, curriculums, uh, by having industry interaction, by having different uh, annual conferences every year, by having our journal and publications, and especially our students who are going to uh, different corners of the world, we will be able to put a mark in the entire academia and research domain to put better and better research work. I think that the commerce education in the country, 
this has become synonymous with department of commerce of university of delhi because always it has been in the forefront whether it's a question of revision of the curriculum whether it is keeping pace with the recent developments in the trade and industry whether it is introduction of the new courses whether it's mba in hr these are certain flagship programs with the department is earning and the phd scholars you know the lot of rigor and uh, some good research have been conducted in the department it's really really you know very lively to be here because the students the faculty everyone is full of energy and full of rigor also at the same time you know in market there are two kind of competitions only one is the price based competition another is non price based competition so when we talk about price based competition if you can recall when we have studied you know positioning so while studying positioning we have talked about michael e porter generic model wherein we discussed four strategies one is cost leadership second is you know focus third is you know uh, differentiation and the fourth was you know uh, niche since july 18 1958 उन्नीस सौ अंठावन अट्ठारह जुलाई को मैंने रामजस कॉलेज ज्वाइन किया रामजस कॉलेज इस विश्वविद्यालय के तीन कॉलेजेस में नंबर तीन पे था सेंट स्टीफन्स नंबर वन हिंदू कॉलेज नंबर टू और रामजस कॉलेज नंबर थ्री ये तीनों कॉलेजेस जो थे जब दिल्ली यूनिवर्सिटी बनी तो ऑलरेडी एग्जिस्टेंस में थे और इनका अफिलिएशन जो है पंजाब यूनिवर्सिटी लाहौर से था और जब यूनिवर्सिटी बनी तो जो कुछ भी इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर था इन कॉलेजेस के पास वही यूनिवर्सिटी ने शेयर किया ख़ास तौर से जो ह्यूमन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर था फैकल्टी एंड हेड्स ऑफ वेरियस डिपार्टमेंट्स एंड सो ऑन वो सारा का सारा इन्हीं तीन कॉलेज का था तो ये तीनों कॉलेज दिल्ली यूनिवर्सिटी के पुराने कॉलेजेस में गिने जाते हैं और उन्नीस से ले के उन्नीस जुलाई 7 जुलाई तक मैं जो है रामजस कॉलेज में काम किया 8 जुलाई 1975 को मैंने कॉमर्स डिपार्टमेंट दिल्ली स्कूल ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स ज्वाइन किया और उस समय जो था ये डिपार्टमेंट एक तरह से शुरुआत हुई थी 67 में हेड नया फर्स्ट हेड हम लोगों को मिला था ही वॉज ए प्रोफेसर ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स ही ज्वाइंड एज फर्स्ट हेड डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कॉमर्स एंड ही प्रोवाइडेड लीडरशिप फॉर अबाउट सेवन एट इयर्स एंड देयर आफ्टर यू नो इन द प्रोसेस डिफरेंट हेड्स केम एंड दे कम्प्लीटेड देयर टर्म एंड सो ऑन and the university was also growing in its own way internet has changed everything and the competition that we face in the job market particularly the you know high excellence of job whether it is corporate or civil services the students get busy in that you know and they spend less time in the university classroom they are more busy with their laptop and internet is the library for them most of them i remember when i joined you know the delhi school of economics ratan tata library used to remain open up to 9 plus 9 9:30 10 you know pm and the students used to be there there was no laptop no internet and that of the kind the students used to borrow books books were also in short supply and so on so that was one uh, phase of the university culture of delhi university and another phase is the students don't feel encouraged to come to the class they spend their time preparing on their own for various competitive exams for chartered accountancy program for cost accountancy program for management accountancy program and so on and so the teachers of today they have to struggle with attracting the students full class students if it is 100 now i am told it is 150 strength and so on 
So that used to be a problem at one point of time that there were no seats available. Rooms were falling short. Now, you know, 150, but in the class hardly 50, 60 students would be present. So this has happened uh, because of the uh, technological breakthrough that is internet and so on and the pressure of his students to get good jobs for which they spend more time on their own in their own way so that they succeed in the competitive exams. Now, uh, fortunately at present we have a vice chancellor who has very grandiose plans to celebrate this centenary year and uh, he has submitted plans uh, worth several thousand crores of constructing new buildings and uh, starting new programs uh, he is going to start a uh, you know faculty of technology which was earlier in the form of Delhi College of Engineering affiliated to this university but now it has become a separate uh, university in itself. So similarly he has many other programs and uh, fortunately he is also backed by the government, supported by the government and hopefully university will have a very nice time. We used to have such uh, interactive sessions where the students with teachers equally participate. I remember our tutorial classes, these were not simply as a formality. They were qualitatively superb. We were issued uh, tutorial sheets from Delhi School of Economics and each teacher was so meticulous, particular, having uh, sessions with us. It was not simply a formality or compliance and what is surprising is at that time tutorials etc were not part of internal assessment. We had only final examination but still our assignments were rated as O grade, A grade, A plus. I have seen department going through expansion conducting conferences, workshops and believe me, we were very much sought after resource person in the entire country. I was lucky to have visited several countries to attend conferences and workshops and when, wherever I have gone, the moment I used to introduce myself as a faculty from Department of Commerce, Delhi School of Economics, people used to hold us in high esteem. They used to go out of way to bestow favors, prestige to us. I cannot forget. This is all and my other faculty members, Professor B.P. Singh has already highlighted a lot about the department. Now, by year 2047, we shall be completing 100 years. Department has gone massive quantitative expansion. You just see 60 students and only 15 or 20 used to be directly enrolled with Delhi School of the rest 10, 5, 10, 5 with 5, 6 college, colleges like Hindu College, Ramjas College, etc. Now we have enrollment of about uh, 5, 600 students in MCOM itself, then MPhil, 40 students, then PSG. So it has become a big faculty in itself. We are having uh, now MCOM, we are having MPhil, we are having PhD, the three academic programs and two professional programs, Master of uh, International Business and Master of uh, Human Resources and Organization Development, which have been re-Christian on instructions from the UGC as MBA, IB, MBA, MH. I would like to, I will feel happy if department now goes for qualitative expansion. And I would like to point out three, four things for qualitative growth of the department. First is the teaching part. Of course, the number of students has increased and it is very difficult to have 
face to face or personal interaction with the student but still we should now put a full stop and form a small small tutorial group so that the students can interact and we should not treat it as a formality like in my time it should be given assignment the student should interact and they should have some value addition not simply copying from the book and submitting simply as an assignment Secondly, I will say our department needs to focus on research and not simply research but quality research. So, simply doing research is not sufficient. We should be like we were earlier a lead institution, center of excellence and this requires good researches by our own faculty members and good high quality supervision so that students should feel scared of doing research in the sense that they should know they have to produce high quality and only ordinary average quality thesis will not be accepted. We have uh, checkered alumni uh, last 40 years. We should develop forge liaison linkages with the alumni. They should be invited. They can financially contribute so that our department will not have any handicap. And side by side, as we were doing when we started MIB, PGDM, we should have close interaction with the industry corporate sector. We should invite them so that these institutes, when they find our students are so good, they automatically absorb them. I feel by 2047, I may not be alive, but I would be very happy even after my death if I come to know somehow that my Department of Commerce and its program are one of the top 10 programs, 10 business schools and the what. This is all I want to share, I want to focus upon and I wish all the best to the faculty, to the students. I served in the Department of Commerce as a professor from 8th of August 2001 up to 30th November 2016. In between, uh, for three years, I was the Dean of the Faculty and Head of the Department for 2010, 11 and 12. Uh, I would like to highlight my uh, other colleagues have talked about other dimensions, also about what is the perspective that I have in mind. Uh, I would like to take you back a little bit to the concept on which Delhi University is based. I am aware that we should be speaking about Department of Commerce, but it has a setting. The setting of Department of Commerce is dual. One, it has a setting in Delhi School of Economics, which is an internationally renowned institution. Two, it is a part of Delhi University, which again is a very renowned institution. What I want to draw the attention of all of us is that Delhi University is unique in a certain way. The Delhi University is, uh, has constituent colleges. All other universities in the country have affiliated colleges. An affiliated college is a distinct entity a constituent college becomes a part of the university. How postgraduate courses started in this university, it would be interesting to know that there were no appointments of faculty in the respective departments as we know them today. There were no appointments in economics department, physics department, botany and so on. Delhi School of Economics was the first exception when VKRV Rao set up Delhi School of Economics, it is for the first time in Delhi University that direct appointments of faculty was made in the departments. So you might ask, what happened to PG teaching before appointments were made in the university departments? There was a system called cooperative teaching. And this cooperative teaching has been most promoted and used by Department of Commerce. There was a point at which we had 23 cooperative teachers. Now the princip principle behind cooperative teachers is that teachers teaching in the college are also very much 
a part of the faculty of Delhi University. Sum it up with three or four points. One, I have been talking about constituent colleges. So what I expect is in the future, we have to revive this whole past practice of having an integration between the colleges and the university department, Department of Commerce. Second level of integration is that economics has always been the mother science under the umbrella of which commerce has flourished. So there has to be more of integration with economics, not only the economics department, but the economics discipline. And the third thing is that there is an upcoming trend, trend towards data science. And unless we in introduce and blend the three, that is commerce as a discipline, economics as the mother science, and data science as its supporting uh, element, I think I look at the future in terms of integrating both the syllabi, education, teaching and research in this perspective, which I would like to call it a trident approach, where you have economics, you have commerce and you have data science. So this is a broad perspective that I would like to lend to the future and like to see the uh, future in the next 25 years, how it develops along these lines. So I welcome all of you to start thinking from the uh, uh, point of view that what uh, you can give back to the department, those who have passed out from here or those who are associated in different manners. We are uh, welcoming each one of you to be part of the development process. Thank you.